All right, thanks so much for your time. We're here at the beautiful Fairmont Hotel Vancouver, one Thank of the you. most classical hotels anywhere in the world. And uh, when you walk into this property, what's, what, what does the guests see? What's, what's the first thing that they're going to notice when they come in the door here? I mean, the hotel, we try to keep a connection to the city. We try to keep our heritage. Uh, we have the restaurants and so forth pretty much in the same locations. Uh, we have upgraded the lobbies. So we've got the uh, luxury retail sort of sector down there, which is also a connection to luxury. Um, so if you are in the need of doing some shopping with such brands as Gucci, Louis Vuitton, uh, Dior, well, then you've come to the right place. Um, but I, we hope that you sort of feel the connection to Fairmont um, through the style and the grace of the hotel. Plus also this hotel has a great history, so we want to try and always be uh, more modernising and upgrading the hotel, but still keeping a connection to our past. At 80 years old and had a makeover for the 80th birthday, tell us yeah. about that. Yeah, uh, we're now 83. So we, we jumped a couple of years, obviously, with COVID. Um, but for the 80th birthday, it's fantastic. I mean, this hotel opened with the, the Queen's visit. Um, I mean, I've been the GM for many years, and I've been quite nervous with opening of hotels, because you never know the, the guest reaction. But if you're opening a hotel to start with, and you've got the Queen as your first guest, that would be a bit scary. Um, but that happened 83 years ago. So it's, it's amazing property with amazing connection to Vancouver. Um, all the important things that happen, happen here. Uh, we like to say it's where important happens. And one of the classic Fairmonts in terms of we've got a few of these castle style hotels across Canada and that's what really set the brand alight for so many years and it's been taken forward very well by Accor going to the future. It has. Um, these hotels were created as a need. Um, the trains expansion through Canada. Um, obviously if you're going to be putting these people all the way around Canada then they need to have a quality product to stay in. Um, so at the time CP Rail built hotels in these iconic locations um, but they didn't just hit up a hotel, they, they built an iconic um, property in iconic situations. Um, and I'm very proud to say that Hotel Vancouver is one of those iconic properties. If you look at sort of uh, properties like that, I mean, obviously the emphasis on food and beverage is, is paramount, whether it's afternoon tea, whether it's cocktails or dinner. It is. I'm glad you actually mentioned afternoon tea because that's one of our main selling factors. Uh, we obviously have our main restaurant and bar in the lobby area. Uh, we also have a private dining room and uh, we do phenomenal Phenomenally well, shall I say, for afternoon tea on the weekends. Uh, we're even doing a new promotion at the moment, which is wrapped around uh, chess. Uh, we've done Alice in Wonderland, we've done all sorts of different things. So if we can keep the themes changing and keep the afternoon tea traditional, iconic, but a little bit quirky, shall we say, uh, then it has a great appeal to the city. And if you look at this property, I mean, the you talk about the location, it's a fantastic yes. location for exploring, isn't it? It is. If you actually go to our lobby uh, and you go between uh, Notch 8 and our retail, you'll find a big black circle. Uh, that circle is actually quite iconic because it was the very dead centre of the city. So when this hotel was built, it was built right in the very centre. And also too, when we were built, we were the tallest building in the city. Um, obviously 83 years, other people have joined us uh, and buildings have grown around us. Um, but the great thing is we're, we're not next to a building. So we have street on all corners, uh, which then gives us distance between the high rises that are around the city. Uh, so pretty much because this hotel is known as the castle in the city, um, the shape of it is, is quite iconic as a castle style. So that means uh, there's a lot more rooms with views um, and because we're not right dead centre or dead next to a, another high rise, we do have great views all around, around the city. So it depends on what you want to look at. And if you look at it, I mean that's ideal then for business or leisure travellers, right? It is. Um, business people also want to be in the downtown, they want to be in the centre of the city. Uh, leisure travellers want to have something to look at, they want to be in an iconic property. Uh, so you can either look out over you know, the, the church or the art centre or the harbour or the downtown or the retail shopping. Um, there's a plethora of selection. And uh, convenient to the airport as well. It is. Um, we were very fortunate. When they built the, uh, or when they had the Olympics here in the city, the last Olympics, uh, a rail system was put in which gives a direct access from the city to the airport. Uh, and really it's about a four minute walk from the hotel to the actual train station and then from there you can go door to door to either domestic or international. And uh, as someone who's been with, with Accor for some time you've gone through different Accor brands and, uh, and then you've got Fairmont which has had one of the best loyalty, the most loyal customer bases with the Gold Leaf Lounge as anywhere in the world as well so now to the forefront with ALL it's obviously an exciting time uh, for the brand uh, globally. Yes. It is, look, um, ALL, uh, Accor Live Limitless, it's, it's fantastic, it's just more selection because we have expanded brands. Uh, and then we have brands that suits everyone's needs from travel. I mean, you've got everything from the, the Raffles and the Fairmont and Swiss at, the, at this iconic location. And we go all the way through our brands, Sofitel, Novotel, Mercure, 
all the way to ibises and so forth. So it depends on where you're traveling, it depends on, on what your budget is and what you want to see and what you want to do. We've got a brand for you. And uh, that's very true. And, and with Fairmont in particular, it's a very special brand. It's, uh, it's got a, a very a, a close tie-in to obviously Canadians, but a lot of travelers who have seen their beautiful hotels, whether it's the Savoy, whether it's the Plaza, or whether it's this, it's, it's just had that iconic status, is not it? It does. Um, and that's, that works for us um, because obviously it has the iconic image and the, and the, the style. Um, but also too, it, it keeps us true. Like we have to keep within our brand. We have to keep within what we've committed to. Um, so everything that we do, every renovation we do, every upgrade we do, we make sure that it stays true to the Fairmont brand. Um, that we, we, we keep the history alive and we keep um, always moving forward, but we also remember where we've come from. And uh, X Factor, I'm going to say location and service, but I'm going to leave it up to you. I, I think it is. I mean, how can you beat staying at a castle hotel downtown in the very heart of Vancouver? Um, that's, that's one. And then the second is you're, you're staying in a hotel that has a connection to the city. Whether you get in a taxi or whether you eat in a restaurant or you go to a bar, if you ask the people and they ask you where you're staying and they, you say you're staying at the Hotel Vancouver, uh, they'll know where you're staying. Awesome. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you for coming. It's a pleasure.